Calci Engineering has been involved in high-pressure sealing technology since 1980. The underlying research began in 1968 with the company founders' graduate studies. Our initial research made us pioneers in the hydrodynamic lubrication of rotary seals. Our continuing research since then has kept us at the forefront of high-pressure seal technology. In November of 2019, Calci Engineering completed a 368-hour test of a 3-inch washpipe assembly at 10,000 PSI. This video clip shows the test fixture setup. The wash pipe assembly was manufactured by Packard International and incorporates our high-pressure seal technology. This 10,000 PSI test included 165 hours at 120 RPM, 165 hours at 150 RPM, and 38 hours at 175 RPM. At 368 hours, the test was shut down for seal inspection. The seals were still in good condition at the conclusion of the test. This is a cross-section of the 10,000 PSI washpipe assembly that was tested. It is a modular assembly that is fastened together by a pattern of bolts. The rotating washpipe has a 3-inch bore and a 4.5-inch outside diameter. The washpipe assembly has two rotary seals, as shown by these arrows. An annular piston balances the pressure of the seal lubricant to the pressure of the pressurized test fluid within the swivel. The upper rotary seal is a KLS-type spring-loaded lip seal. It partitions the lubricant from the pressurized test fluid. The KLS seal is mounted in a floating seal carrier. This carrier has a journal-bearing relationship with the wash pipe and moves laterally to follow runout of the wash pipe. This arrangement minimizes the runout the KLS seal experiences. The lower rotary seal is a super-wide plastic-lined calci seal. This seal retains the high-pressure lubricant. This shows an enlarged segment of the lower rotary seal. It has a pressure-resistant plastic liner and our patented hydrodynamic waves. The waves pump a thin film of lubricant into the dynamic sealing interface during rotation. This reduces friction, wear, and seal-generated heat. The reduced operating temperature facilitates high-pressure extrusion resistance by reducing temperature-related loss of seal modulus. The lower seal is mounted in our patented floating backup ring. This metal ring has a journal-bearing relationship with the wash pipe and moves laterally to follow runout of the wash pipe. This arrangement minimizes extrusion gap clearance and maximizes the high-pressure performance of the lower seal. The pressurized fluid used in the 10,000 PSI test was antifreeze that was pressurized with a piston pump. A moderate amount of cooling was provided to the wash pipe. This shows the cooling arrangement. Low-pressure water was circulated through a stationary U-shaped tube that was located inside the wash pipe. The coolant circulation rate was about 8 gallons per minute. The fluid temperature near the high-pressure seal was approximately 103 degrees Fahrenheit at 120 RPM, 110 degrees Fahrenheit at 150 RPM, and 115 degrees Fahrenheit at 175 RPM. The test was instrumented to monitor and record various test parameters. These parameters included pressure of the lubricant and the pressurized test fluid, the rotary speed of the wash pipe, running torque, lubricant consumption, and temperatures at various locations. This is the pressure retaining seal after 368 hours of operation at 10,000 PSI and 120 to 175 RPM. It is still in excellent condition. This is the KLS seal that partitioned the seal lubricant from the pressurized test fluid. As you can see here, it was still in excellent condition at the conclusion of the 368-hour test. The combination of the super-wide plastic-lined seal and the floating backup ring provided the pressure capacity to successfully handle 10,000 PSI at 120 to 175 RPM with a 4.5-inch seal. Contact our staff to learn more about using Calci seals in your extreme pressure equipment.